हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द बिट ऑक्सीजन एकेडमी आई एम पलक शाह टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क कंपोनेंट डॉट नेट इज कलेक्शन ऑफ टूल्स टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड लैंग्वेजेस दैट ऑल वर्क टुगेदर इन द फ्रेमवर्क टू प्रोवाइड द सॉल्यूशन दैट आर नीडेड टू इजीली बिल्ड एंड डेप्लॉय ट्रूली रोबस्ट एंटरप्राइज एप्लीकेशन डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म दैट प्रोवाइड टूल्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज टू डेवलप विंडोज वेब्स एंड एंटरप्राइज एप्लीकेशन इट मेनली कंटेंट्स द टू कंपोनेंट्स फर्स्ट इज कॉमन लैंग्वेज रन टाइम सेकेंड इज फ्रेमवर्क क्लास लाइब्रेरी एंड अदर कॉम्पोनेंट इज कॉमन लैंग्वेज स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड कॉमन टाइप सिस्टम वेब सर्विसेज कैन ऑल्सो बी डेवलप यूजिंग द डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क As we can say this is dot net architecture dot net architecture consists of six layers today we will discuss about important components of dot net framework here in architecture the last component of dot net is common language runtime second microsoft dot net framework based class library data and xml classes is asp dot net windows form ASP.NET web forms common language specification common type system and .NET languages now first component of .NET framework is common language runtime .NET framework provides the runtime environment it's called common language runtime it provides an environment to run the all .NET programs the code which run under the common language runtime is called as manage code the common language runtime is manage the execution environment that is the part of microsoft dot net framework clr manage the execution of program written in the different supported languages here it's a diagram of common language runtime the common language runtime manage the execution of program written in the different supported languages common language runtime transfers the source code into the byte code it's known as common intermediate language at a runtime common language runtime handles the execution of common intermediate language previously known as microsoft intermediate language developer using the clr write the code in a language such as c sharp or vb.net the next component is .net framework class library it is also known as base class library and it is the common for all types of application that is the way you access the library classes and methods in vb.net will be the same in c sharp and it's the common for the all other languages in .net the framework base class library is a standard library and microsoft's dot net framework implementation of the standard library as defined as common language infrastructure the framework class library is collection of reusable classes interfaces and value type the dot net library using different types of application windows application console application web applications xml web services and windows services now next component is common type system cts it describe the set of the data types that can be used in the different dot net languages in common the cts is the core part of common language runtime that takes the care of cross languages integration Dot .NET framework is the language independent and support over 20 different programming languages. For example, an integer variable in C# sharp is written as int. For communicating between the programs written in any dot .NET complement languages, that types have to be a complement on a basic level. For example, an integer is in dot net framework you have single classes called system dot in dot 32 to interpret this variable similarly for the array list data type dot net framework has a common type is called system 
dot collections dot array list. The dot net framework system dot object is common base type from where all the other types are derived. There are two types of CTS. It first is value type, second is reference type. Value type. The value types include the simple type character, int, float, enum types and struct type. The value type directly contain their data and instance of value types are either allocated on the stack or allocated inline in a structure. Reference types. Reference types include the classes types, interfaces types and array types. The reference type stores a reference to the values memory address and are allocated on the heap. Reference types can be a self descript by pointer types or interface types. Our last component is common language specification. The common language specification defines the set of rules. It is the subset of CTS and specifies the set of rules that need to or satisfied by the all languages compilers targeting common language runtime. It helps in the cross languages inheritance and cross languages debugging. It is the follow for types both value and reference so the object of types written in the different language can interact. The common language specification has some rules. All types appearing in the method prototype must be CLS. Array elements must have CLS element type. Array must also be a zero index set. CLS classes must be inherited from CLS classes. This was all about .NET Framework component. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also for more update, don't forget to subscribe our channel Bit Oxygen Academic. You can also follow us on Instagram. Thank you.